Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly becoming typical American mega celebrities that is, according to the Washington Post. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved into their $14.7 million Santa Barbara mansion after stepping back from their royal duties. They're now neighbors with Ellen DeGeneres, Oprah Winfrey, Katy Perry and Adam Levine. And according to the Washington Post, they are modeling their new life together on those of the Oprahs and Ellens around them. In an opinion piece that suggests Meghan and Harry's royal sparkle gives them an edge no other celebrity is able to achieve, it is further reported that their celebrity value is unparalleled. Kitty Kelly, a celebrity biographer, said, Harry and Meghan will be sought after socially in America and paid generously, some might say exorbitantly, for their celebrity value. The report goes on to suggest that Meghan and Harry's Montecito home could be the perfect place to pursue the American dream, as key figures are permitted to live largely private lives while simultaneously enjoying the luxuries associated with wealth. The news comes after talk show host Oprah Winfrey revealed her new docuseries in collaboration with Prince Harry will be released in the new few weeks. The duo have gotten together for a series exploring mental health, with Oprah joined on the Drew Barrymore show last week by U.S. psychiatrist Dr. Bruce D. Perry. She said on the show, I want to just say that Dr. Perry and I have been also, for the past two years, along with Prince Harry and Apple, we've been working on this mental health series that's coming out in May on Apple. And former Suits actress Meghan is no stranger to U.S. fame. Meanwhile, the Sussexes have also secured an 18 million Spotify deal to produce and host podcasts for the music streaming service. The move sparked fury from musicians hosted on the app, who complain the royalties they receive from the service are too low. Musicians can be paid as little as £0.0038 per stream. And Harry has definitely become fully entrenched in American life appearing solo at Global Citizens Vax Live, the concert to reunite the world where he received a standing ovation. The Duchy of Sussex have been billed as campaign chairs alongside the likes of President Biden and Jennifer Lopez, who were all in attendance. The mask-free event was set up to encourage people to get their COVID-19 vaccinations. Meghan remained at home as she is currently heavily pregnant with the couple's second child. They aren't the first royals to attempt to make it across the pond, but they might just be the most glamorous, Kelly suggested. Harry has even partnered up with a Silicon Valley tech startup company, dubbed Better Up, which offers coaching for employees. He's been named the chief impact officer of the business, which has prompted many a meme on social media, with one Twitter user branding it a BS role. It is one of those titles that, true to Silicon Valley form, is just vague enough to suggest an amorphous but senior role and a hefty salary, the article suggests. Fergie, Duchess of York, partnered with a U.S. company as a spokesperson in 1997. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie also lived in New York for several years, with Beatrice being spotted with the likes of Carly Kloss during her stint in the city.